Connect. We are at the NRB convention in Nashville with Phil and Kathleen Cook. Thank you all both yeah, for being with nice us. Be here. Yes, awesome. I know you take a very strong leadership role in the Christian broadcasting industry. Yeah. You're also you live in Hollywood. You're very tied in what's going on in media and specifically Christian movies, which is what we're all about. Right. So uh, tell me about some of the new films that are coming out that you're kind of excited about. Well, it's funny. We're here at the NRB in Nashville, and we're doing an interview tomorrow on the stage with the movie about the new movie Noah. Yeah. It's been controversial. So I saw it at Paramount last week for the first time, and uh, it has a few, you know, little. It deviates a little from the scripture. So some people are be going to be upset. However, my feeling is that doesn't overpower the fact that Paramount Studios is spending $250 million to tell a Bible story through film, which gives us an incredible opportunity to talk about the Noah story with our friends. So I just think they're opening the door to a wonderful opportunity for us to share that story. So I'm behind it. I think it'll be a good thing. So maybe if, if uh, everyone doesn't necessarily agree with every single thing, they can. it still opens the door to a conversation. Absolutely. And, of course, the other big movie coming out right now is Son of God. We were in, at the Sundance Film Festival last month with uh, Mark uh, Burnett, the producer of that film. And uh, it's, got, it's, it's, one of, it's the first film in years telling the story of Christ's life. And what a wonderful opportunity, again, for us to be able to share Christ with a secular audience, the way he's presented it. Uh, with the Bible series having just come out, people are open to that. It's been done spectacularly. Um, but there'll be some controversial things with that as well within Christians in that um, we, I loved what Mark said. He said, uh, you know, the day that we shot the scene where Lazarus, where Jesus called Lazarus from the tomb, he said, I'm going to get criticized. He said, I'm going to get criticized because it says in the Bible that Jesus called Lazarus forth from the tomb. But he said, what people don't understand is in Hollywood, you have a limited budget, you have a limited amount of time, and you have to get the shot when you get it. And he said, there was a major windstorm going on outside of that cave that day, and there was no way I was going to get that shot with Jesus calling him out of the tomb. So I had to put Jesus in the tomb and touching him and bringing, you know, raising him from the dead that way. He said, but what a better way to say to people, go to the Bible and read it for yourself and see what really happened. So again, it's opening these wonderful doors for us in Hollywood to be able to talk about Jesus in a positive way and, uh, and allowing people to go and uh, search for themselves. So it's awesome, we, we love it. We absolutely love having the Hollywood films coming out. Well, and it is kind of neat too that, that Hollywood realizes that people care about a story from the Bible. People yeah. care about movies yeah. that uh, that have good values because they are picking up more on that, aren't, aren't they? Well, you know, it's interesting. Hollywood bends over backwards and has for years to produce films for all kinds of special interest groups, environmentalists or feminists or the gay community or all, you know other, other groups. Pew Research indicates that there are 91 million evangelical Christians in America, which makes us the largest special interest group there is. So I think Hollywood's starting to realize that's a big audience, people that want to take their faith seriously. And so uh, they're making movies for the audience, and we're thrilled, and we want to support them. Okay, great. So um, what are there some other, um, some other movies that you think are of special interest? Uh, Ridley, Ridley Scott, a great filmmaker, is coming out with The Exodus Story in about a month, I think, maybe two months. And Christian Bale is starring as Moses, so we'll have Batman be Moses. That'll be an interesting transition. I'm okay. And uh, I've heard that Brad Pitt is looking at the pilot, story about pilots, Pontius Pilate. So there's a number of things in the pipe at various stages. So... I think 2014, I was on Inside Edition the other day, and they called it the Year of the Bible movie. So we'll see if that's what happens this year. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think really God is just stirring some spectacular things in Hollywood that's happening right now. I've been leading a group of women um, in media and entertainment in Hollywood for the last couple of years. I have a, a, a website now called the Influence Lab and with Influence Women, and we're gathering women together now who are working in the industry so we can come together, be united and connected. And uh, so there's some great things happening with people connecting who are working in Hollywood to make the industry better. Um, Hollywood's a mission field. And uh, there's a lot of people there who um, need Jesus. And all of us that are working in the business are excited with the opportunity of, of these things coming out so that we can share the love of Jesus with them. Bottom line. 
that's great. And you know, it, there, there's not a better time for Christians yeah. that are working in media right now to get involved and do something. So whether they're doing something in a Christian film or whether they're working in Hollywood and trying to make a difference, really big thing. But you know, something else too is, um, and I would love for you to address this as well about um, Christians who maybe aren't really happy with what goes on a lot of the time. But then movies come out that yep. really appeal to them, and maybe they just kind of miss it at the theaters. <laughs> yeah, you know what? My feeling is Hollywood does not respond to criticism. They don't respond to boycotts. They don't respond to petition drives. They respond to the box office. So if you don't like a movie, don't go see it. But if a movie does come out that you feel good about, go watch it. And I encourage people to watch it on opening weekend because that's when the theaters decide how long to keep it there. So I, I couldn't say enough to Christians out there watching that if you believe in a movie or you support it or you think, you know, this is a good idea, go watch it. Take your friends because that's what shapes the culture and that's what Hollywood notices. Who's going? The box office matters. So I say go see it. And I would add to that, even maybe if you don't like the movie, go see it, just because you have then the ability to have a dialogue with someone about why you didn't like it. And don't put the film down, don't criticize the film or the people making it, but point out in a loving manner and in, a, in an intelligent manner why you would disagree with parts of it. And then show them in the Bible, lead them on, and love them while you're doing it. Don't criticize them, love them. Okay. Great, some great points. And, and thank you for reporting yeah. about all this. Oh, absolutely. <laughs>